You know what else? You know what else happened this last couple weeks? The, no. The the documentary, The Last Dance. Have oh, you been following? Been of course. Watching? I pumped, pumped, and so I basically sit down on Sunday night, watch The Last Dance, and drink a bottle of wine. You know, it's because all I do right now is eat and drink. Eat and drink. That's what you That's do, it. and just yeah, just gain weight. Um. So I thought at one point that I was going to play in the NBA <laughs> until I realized that. Dudes that are five seven don't play in the NBA. Vertically challenged, I can't really jump, and I like like I have fun playing and I play hard, but I'm not, I'm really not great at it. Yeah. Anyway, it's a problem. But I had all the Jordans. I still have Jordans and continue. Like I'm a big fan. Like I'm a I, I'm a Michael Jordan. So watching, okay. yeah. So watching this has been big for me, and I enjoy it. Something to look forward to. Um, but but I got to be honest, Matt. There's. There's some things that I need to get off my chest about this documentary. Okay. Although I never questioned MJ's talent and what he did for the game of basketball and and really my life and that of many people probably. Mm -hmm. He gave us hope. Hope that we could be great even if we got cut off our high school basketball team. Mm. And um but but some things I never had that hope in basketball. I, at, I never got cut either, but whatever. Look that, at that's, look at me. That's that's neither here nor there. But some things happened during this documentary that that I feel like I need to share with you, and I need to get them off my chest because it surprised me. So I wrote a letter Good. to the. Um, I'm glad you did. I love how vulnerable you are. To the Last Dance documentary. Okay. So here it goes. Okay. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay. Dear Last Dance documentary. Thank you for showing these young whippersnappers who think LeBroni is the best basketball player ever who the real GOAT is. When America needed to see what toughness really looks like, you showed us the Detroit bad boys. You showed us Kevin McHale, and you showed us Kirk Rambis. You actually didn't show us Kirk Rambis. Kurt, Kurt Rambis. Kurt. Kurt, but I like his name, and he wore goggles. But, Kurt. But he wasn't really on the thing, though. Kirk, Kirk, with a T, Kirk, Kirk, Kirk. It's not, um, it's, not Kirk. it's Kirk. As I relived my childhood while watching MJ climb to the top of the mountain, I noticed a few things I'd like to share. First, why is Phil Jackson so tall? He played in the NBA. He is literally the tallest guy in the huddle during timeouts. It looks like a 10-year-old YMCA basketball team is looking up at their coach. Poor B.J. Armstrong had to stand on a chair to see the play on the dry erase board while Phil was drawing it. <laughs> to have a man on the bench of that size is a shame. The Bulls chose Will Perdue over Phil. Will Perdue was a terrible basketball player. Bill Weddington. While Phil wasted away on the bench. There was a time when Luke Longley actually got minutes. Meanwhile, the Tom Selleck look-alike wasted away on the bench. He's the coach. He does look like Tom Selleck. Yeah. He's the coach. Matt, how is it that Dennis Rodman is a Hall of Fame basketball player and can't do the two most important things in the game of basketball? <laughs> shoot and dribble? <laughs> Dennis Rodman cannot dribble and he cannot shoot. I knew Dennis Rodman was a weirdo. Everybody knew that. <laughs> I didn't realize how bad of a basketball player Dennis Rodman was. It's like being in the Baseball Hall of Fame without being able to throw or hit. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> oh, man. Dennis Rodman got inducted into the Hall of Fame because he hustled. He was a really good hustler. Rodman has every average size private school basketball player thinking they can too can party with Carmen Electra and Madonna, and all they have to do is want the loose ball more than the other guy. <laughs> it is truly amazing. Uh, what does Houston think about Dennis Rodman? He can be in the Hall of Fame now. <laughs> all you have to do is watch the game. Uh, dive, dive for the loose ball and throw it back in. That's it. Oh, man. Why spend so much time talking to Horace Grant? He stunk. He was bad. Horace was a liability his entire career. Now, 
I fully expect him to be on the next ad campaign for Nugenics once Frank Thomas's uh, contract runs out, as he is jacked. He's obviously on good supplements. <laughs> he doesn't wear the goggles or Rexpecs anymore. He looks so good. Horace Grant looks so good she right now. He looks great. It's Nugenics. You know the other thing he did? I'm too? telling you. Look, look at him. It was great. He, he's, so he is totally jacked. The other thing, too, is like he conveniently leaned back in his chair. Because I guarantee if he stands, I guarantee he's got a belly. But he's leaning back in his chair, so it looks like it looks flatter. Look at his arms. Look, 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 look at me. Look at me. Paul, put it on me real quick. Look, look at the difference with this. If I'm leaning back. Like, look at the picture. Just look at the screen. If I'm leaning back. And then if I do this. Look, look what happens when I do this. When I lean back like this. See what I mean? Mm-hmm. You don't look like Horace Grant. <laughs> well, I'm not Horace Grant, but, <laughs> but it looks better. It looks better than if I just like stand uh, up and you see how like average and normal and kind of boxy I, agree. I am. I agree. I, I'm with it. I get it. I get it. Every one of the players on Chicago Bulls team that Michael played on that was so great, they were all terrible, <laughs> except for Scottie Pippen. Chicago. The Chicago team was terrible. The Chicago. Team. Scotty was the only guy that was any good, and he was scared of his own shadow for three-fourths of his career. It's one thing that I'm starting to realize. Yeah. We've gotten this thing all wrong. I have, in particular, and I'm assuming everybody else has as well. We've mistaken Michael Jordan's intensity for disgust. The scowl on his face when he looked intense, ready to go, yelling at his teammates. Shooting his gum. It wasn't that he was locked in trying to win games. He was disgusted at how bad everybody around him was. Michael was surrounded by scrubs for his entire career. Mm. I'll give you Scotty. If he didn't go for 40 a night, they'd get blown out. He didn't work so hard because he got cut in high school. That's a lie. It's a myth. He didn't work so hard because he wanted to be the greatest. He was just trying to stay in the league, man. They surrounded Michael with scrubs. One thing that I learned from this documentary. I appreciate you guys putting that out there. Sincerely, Ryan.